Welcome back. So, a pile of the uh, dead motherboard still there. But uh, somebody put this here. It certainly wasn't me. So, what is it? Let's see. It's a Q6600 Core to Quad. It says mod me. Please. So, hmm. That can be a little bit of fun. Shall we? So, before I mod you, I need a baseline, so um, I'll be changing the processor in this system. Not even sure which which it is. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll change it to uh, this uh, this oh, this little quad core thing, and uh, yeah, we'll run uh, Cinebench, see how terrible the score is. So here it is. Um, display adapter. I have a sixty six seventy, and uh, for the processor, I have. Four cores, core to quad Q6600. Now let's run some uh, some benchmarks. Yeah, this is um really fast. I'll uh, I'll come back when uh when it's done. So here's the score, 220 Cinebench, and uh, time for the mod. All right, so. After the benchmark, you have to clean it before you mod it. So, first I'll add some uh, alcohol. And then I'll take a uh, rag, what it doesn't matter. Have uh, just toilet paper here, and I'll wipe it down. There you go. Good enough. And then, same thing for the heat sink. Just wipe it down. Yeah. Not really. A little more cleaning. <laughs> do, do, do. Just uh, clean. Just so it's not too dirty. You know, you don't want the extra thermal interference between the processor and the heatsink so it looks good enough so here's the processor core to quad um for this uh for the mod i'm gonna do i'm gonna have to um block off the electrical contact on uh, two pins so let me see if i can point this to you so the pin over here this pin over here and this pin over here that's gonna make uh, the processor run from uh, the base of 2.4 gigahertz to all the way to uh, 3 3 gigahertz. Um, so for this mod, I'm gonna be using uh, electrical tape uh, because it's like it's a thick tape that doesn't uh, that blocks uh, electricity, and uh, I'm also gonna need a, a knife. So here it is. So um, first, I'll just be applying the tape onto the desk. I don't really care if I cut the desk a little bit. It's, uh, it's already a little bit scratched, so it doesn't matter. Just cut right here. And then take the rest off. All right. So, um, now you can see how small the pads are. The, the pads are really tiny compared to my, my finger, for example. So this is really a test of, um, Hand surgery, hand surgical skills. So first I'll be cutting a strip of tape. So I guess I'll be cutting upwards to make it much easier. I don't know if you guys can see this, but yeah. So cut the tape upwards like that. And then repeat for the other side. So cut the tape upward let me see if I can uh, show this a little bit better all right so see I, I um take the knife and I jam it into the tape cut upward jam into the tape cut upward and now I have like a little, little gap I don't know if you can see this 
yeah so I have the the, the two sides cut now I'm just gonna make a cut like this to uh, free it out so let's see let's see if I can show that all right so just uh, put it here and cut it let's see if uh, if it's completely cut or have to do it again oh one side is let's see if you can rip it off nope Eh, almost there you go that is one piece of tape let's see if we can focus focus yeah that is one small piece of tape look at that all right so i'll be applying this to the cpu uh let's see where is i think it's here yeah this side over here so first i'll be applying this one to the first pin hmm doesn't want to come off alright wait a sec uh, let's see come on you want to come out do you come on stay good alright so now I just have to put it onto the first one I really hope the sticky sides face down looks like it yeah. let's see if we can uh, push it down a little and with something yeah. let's just use the knife just hold it and nope and that's gone into the uh, the other part over here yeah, and you don't want that let's see if you can zoom in a little bit there you go how does that look? Better? Let's see. There you go. So I don't want the tape to be over here. I want it to be exactly only on the first pad. Try to move it a little bit. How about that? That looks good. Looks good enough. Now I have to do another um, another one of those tape, but for the third one. And now you have you see that uh, there's pads on the left, actually on the left and on the right. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a bit more difficult, but uh, let's try it. So same process. Let's chip apart. Same process. Jam it in. Slide upward. And jam it in, slide upward. Alright, so now I have to cut. Actually, I don't think this is um, wide enough, but let's see. Eh. Come on. Come on. No? You want to stay? You're not gonna stay. Nope. There you go. Uh, yeah. I think this is um. Focus. I think this is too small. This is really. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if I can uh, show it better. This one over here. It's a little bit small. Yeah, I guess it works kind of. All right, just just come on, stay on. Just uh, put this on. Hold it there. How does this look? It's a bit small. Sure, it can uh, arrange it a little. How's this? That looks fine. Is it? No? That looks fine, right? 
Anyways, uh, gonna be putting this uh, back into the computer and uh, let's see if there's a difference. So this is uh, with the mod, it's uh, running right now. It's interesting because here it says uh, it's 2.4 gigahertz. But if you go, if I go into the CPU-Z, here it says 2.999 megahertz, which is 3 gigahertz. Uh, I don't know which one to trust, but I think uh, CPU-Z over here is uh, more trustworthy than uh, whatever it's saying here. So yeah, I'll let it run and uh, I'll uh, tell you, uh, update the uh, result after it's done. So here it is, 262. That's... uh. 40 points jump, I think. 42. Wow. Interesting. That's the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.